guys welcome back to NEMT Van Talks I'm Jasmine and I'm Monica and um, if you didn't watch our previous video in regards to payment platforms um, then definitely go ahead and check it out we're also going to leave the link up above mm -hmm. but in this video we're going to take you through the steps of creating a invoice, invoice for your business should we also throw uh, come along with us guys let's show you how to create an invoice hello and welcome back to our youtube channel so in this video i'll walk you through the steps of completing an invoice using paypal so typically you want to create an invoice only when you receive a phone call from a customer um, that would like to pay receiving an invoice um, and they're not prepared to pay over the phone so once you collect all of the information, meaning the patient's name, the date of service, their email address, um, and all of the information pertaining to the trip, meaning the pickup address, the drop-off address, um, you want to make sure you gather all of that information from the client when you have them over the phone. And so once they request that you send them an invoice and that they will pay, uh, once they receive the invoice you just simply log into your PayPal account and again on the main screen once you log in where you see the icon that says invoicing you're gonna click on that I icon and at the right hand corner um, it'll say create an invoice so once you click on that it'll bring you to this screen here okay so once you get to this screen here um, you see the icon to your right where it says add logo um, this is where you can add any customized customized information pertaining to your business such as your business name your business address the phone number for your business um, the mailing address for your business and any other information you want to add you just simply include that information here okay so where it says edit business info that's where you would enter your business information you can also add a logo as well okay um, but for the purpose of this video I'm going to go ahead and click on our invoice that has already been customized with our business information and as you can see here in the right hand corner our business information is already entered so this is how it will look if you wanted to customize the invoice and enter your business information, okay? So again, all that information you gather from the customer when you had them over the phone, that is where you're gonna enter this information here. So for example, the email address. So for the purpose of this video, let's just make up an email, right? So we're just gonna say one, two, three, four at Gmail dot com is going to be the email address okay so you just continue to scroll where it says CC if you want to include any additional recipients if you want any additional recipients to receive this a copy of this invoice as well you can include their email address here so for example if the client said I want you to send me this um, invoice, but I also want you to include my mother or my grandmother or someone else included on this in this email. You'll enter their email address here where it says CC. Okay. Where it says item name, that's where you want to enter what type of trip are you going to provide. Is this, is, is this for a round trip or one-way transport? Um, and so you just simply enter that information here. It's going to be a round trip. Okay. And then you want to enter the total cost of the trip. So for the purpose of this video, we're just going to say $275. Okay. And where it says transportation service, this is where you want to enter all of the information you gather from the um, customer when you had them on the phone. So for example, you want to enter the date. Okay. 
to pick up and drop off the pick up and drop off address um, and of course the um, the time so let's go back here okay um, and then if they have any special accommodations or anything additional information that you need to know pertaining to this trip you want to certainly enter that information here so for example uh, that patient is going to be traveling with a caretaker or an oxygen tank um, any information that you feel like is pertinent to know you can certainly include that information here okay So then you want to continue to scroll okay. where it says message to the customer i always advise you please leave your customer message even if it's just saying simply thank you for your business if you have another message that you would like to leave to your customers you can simply enter that here as well If you have any terms and condition that your customer should know about, you can enter that information here. So for the purpose of our invoice, we do have a term and condition regarding the cancellation policy. So it simply reads, please cancel your scheduled trip within 24 hours of your pickup time for a refund. Please note payment processing fee will be deducted from the original payment. So. We give our customers 24 hours to cancel um, their trip if they need to, and they can receive a full refund minus the processing fee. So we do not pay for the processing fee. We subtract that back or we deduct that back from the full refund amount. And so we include that information here. So if a customer needed to cancel their trip, they are fully aware of our cancellation, cancellation policy. Okay. And the good thing about this too, once you customize your um, your invoice with your business information, you don't have to do that every single time you log in to create an invoice. You can just simply enter the information pertaining to that trip without having to do that every single time. That is the good thing about um, creating an invoice and having um, your business information already entered. You don't have to do that every single time. So once you have entered all of this information, certainly go back and review it to make sure you have everything entered correctly. But also before you hit submit, if you click on this little icon button here where it says preview, it will show you exactly what your invoice will look like prior to hitting submit. So as you can see, all of the information we enter is here. Okay. Everything we enter pertaining to the invoice is here. And so again, just to reference this section here, um, this is just totally where you would enter any information pertaining to the trip. Um, and so I just gave you a simple example here, but um, of course your information will look different as you will have the address and all that information enter here. This is just simply an example of what an invoice will look like. Okay, and then once you have confirmed that this invoice look correct and you're happy with everything that you've entered, you just, you will hit the button here, send. And that will conclude this video. Thanks guys.